Hi there, Stephanie Cameron live at the Orlando Money Show, and I am here with Mark Sebastian, who is the uh, founder of the Option Pit. Thank you for coming, Mark. Thank you for having me. So this is a really, really key time right now. I mean, we mm -hmm. couldn't have picked, honestly, a better time to have a money show than this week, and we're having this 10% correction on the market. I yep. Mean, the, and we're going to talk about ETPs, right? These mm -hmm. are these, uh, oh gosh, the VIX, UVXY, SVXY, XIV. Um, you know, most people didn't even know about these things until this week. All right. of a sudden, they were dead. Yes. The volatility was dead. It, things exploded. Right. Right. Yeah, it was amazing. People were strapping on the risk mm -hmm. when these products were at the riskiest. So right. money was just pouring right. into XIV and SVXY. So right. XIV and SVXY both bet on volatility staying low and the VIX staying low, and they make money if that happens. And in fact, a lot of people don't know this. Last Friday, a large asset management group put $500 million into SVXY. How do you think they feel today? They're probably not so, so pleased, folks. They're a little unhappy. Yeah, but the XIV went out of business. A a XIV is going it out of business. Halted. I mean, it how long have you been trading for? Um, I've been trading since uh, 2000. So have you ever seen that get halted? I've, I've seen other things go out of business before. No, not the XIV. No, XIV. Uh, so, I've never. No, but it, the reason why XIV had to stop is it's an inverse. Mm -hmm. So um, on Monday, the VIX futures started to really start to move. And because they're inverse, they can't lose more than 100% in a day. If they lose more than 100% in a day, they could theoretically have a negative net asset value, right. which would mean you as the shareholder owe people money. Right. They, you know how infuriating that would be as an investor? So they have these things in place to stop that from happening. And it actually started to feed on itself. Mm -hmm. So they started to worry about the risk. Right. So they put in a big order to buy a bunch of futures to cover, which then, ran the futures higher, which meant they needed to cover more futures, which then ran the futures higher again. Yeah, it was, they, it was ugly. They could have used some dark pool services, I can tell you that much. Yeah, well, we saw the dark pool buying the VIX oh, yeah. years ago. So, you know, the, the smart guys knew yes. that volatility was on the rise, and, and I saw them selling. Well, um, January was unique. It was the yep. first time we've ever seen this. The S&P 500 was right. up, mm -hmm. and SPXY, all the short ETNs were down. Right. There right. were vol buyers as we were rallying. Actually. Um, one of the right. greatest ways I see a market sell-off, and I've called, you know, I call, I would say, eight of the last five market sell-offs, mm -hmm. um, is when I see the VIX rallying and the Same SPOOs rallying, right? I right, am, right, right. Uh, yeah, that's right. telling me things are about to go really Something, bad. Somebody's lying, I yes. would say. Yes, <laughs> and, and it's usually equities, <laughs> folks. <laughs> the VIX is usually right. It is. Yeah, it always knows. Well, there's, they, uh, we, people we know. trading the VIX are a little smarter than people buying equities, I'll yeah. just say it. Sorry. Yeah, but there, there was a lot of people that really, this is the sad part, honestly. Education is so key, mm -hmm. right? I know you're an educator, I'm yes. an educator. There's a lot of people that just didn't know anything. And after it's like, I didn't know. Yeah. Well, folks, now you know, all right? Please get an education. Um, and we're going to talk about that when we come back, how we can learn more. All right, thank you.